All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and a Shalom and a peace to the elect. This is Ashan coming at you with another video, and um, this um, I'm gonna play this little clip. On it says, "Real life Uncle Ruckus, Alabama man says he refused to take down his Confederate flag." Now, this is the reason why uh, the two-thirds have to go. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to get a little um, a little deeper. Um, this guy, this proves that we also have chocolate-covered Edomites, all right? You know, a, a lot of other camps don't, you know, go into this or even teach it. But we at Great Millstone, hey, we got, we got the truth over here. You know, and this uh, goes to the uh, narrative of and the true story on how man is it's about the seed of man. You know, your nationality is about the seed of man. It's, it's not all about genetics because you could look like a, we got Edomites. We got uh, Jake, uh, Jake looking like you could look like a Jake, but you could be an Edomite. And it only take a couple generations, maybe three or four generations. Perfect example, Blake Griffin's son. If he has a son by a, a, a straight up Edomite woman, then all his kids will come out looking sh like straight up Edomites. But they jake because you look at his great great grandfather, his grand rather his grandfather, which will be them kids great grandfather. That's a straight up dark skinned Levite. All right, so um. With that saying, I'm going to play this clip and uh, we can go into the scriptures. We're willing to make to relocate it to somewhere that doesn't stand for justice as our courthouses do. Let's see, their names Alabama has some opposition from about two dozen members and supporters of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. Regardless of how the next person feels, I'm not going to take my flag down. If I got anything to do with it, ain't no money. I'm going to say this. This guy even sound like an Edomite, you know? When um, when we were uh, in, ca in hardcore captivity, slavery, you had the um, Edomite slave owners, the Caucasian so-called white man, raping and having babies by uh, with Israelite women. You know, we'd be working in the field, and by some of them, uh, they have uh, babies just straight up by you. You might have had a woman, and the Edomite. Uh, was feeling it that day, and he could take her for a concubine and give her right back to you. So the white man is the real deadbeat because it was a, you had a lot of chicken Georges and and doing slavery, you know. And a lot of these so-called uh, you think is Negroes, they straight up Edomites, you know. It's about the spirit too, and this guy got the spirit of an Edomite. So this might just well be an Edomite, you know. But let's say he's a Jake. You know, we're going to get the scriptures on that, too. But if he's an Edomite, he's going into slavery. It don't matter how he look, you know. Genetics. See, your, your, uh, your look. Your look. Like far as your, um, your characteristics. Now, that is an indicator, you know. That's an indicator. That's why we say so-called... And we look white, look at a Jake, uh, 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 a so-called black man, a black looking man. You know, that's an indicator that he's an Israelite. It's not a guarantee. Man, going to come down. Daniel Sims says he was adopted as a child. My whole family's white. Went to all white school, grew up in all white neighborhood. My grandfather was white and he was the main one that fought in this war here. And he's taught me everything I know. He and if his grand, hey. He might be talking about his adop adoptees, uh, but uh, so-called niggas weren't allowed to fight on their side. Now, they did uh, go along around with the side, the Confederate side, like far as you, you Jake's what they considered. Uh, you was considered half uh, two thirds of a human being, you know. Now, you might have helped the soldiers out and stuff like clean the weapons and. 
you they, they you had you had you you had minor jobs with that. You know, you you play you played the servant, you know. Explains how he'd feel if the statues and flag were relocated. They may make my blood boil if they just come up here and feel like they can just tear it down. I don't see me still living if they do that right there. That monument ain't hurting nobody. That monument ain't killing my soul. It ain't talking bad to nobody. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't even racist. But Dunson says she. Yeah, but that's the end of the clip. I wanted to go to the scriptures. Um. And you got straight up Jake's to feel it the way he feel. You got straight up Jake's to feel the way he feel. This is Isaiah chapter 30. Um, I'm going to start at 1. It says, woe to the rebellious children. Because you, 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 you Israelites are rebellious. We were on the highway and byways today. And we ain't seen nothing but rebellious people. Usually we get uh, one or two Jake's to stop up and talk. Man, ain't none of these Jake stopped up. They just looked at us like we had four heads on our shoulders. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Yeah, all y'all always talking about, you Jake's always talking about, oh, that's a white man's book, or the white man wrote that book. Right? But you but you uh you uh you'll follow the constitution. I'm sure this this Jake looking guy guy. I'm sure he followed the Constitution head to, head to toe. He's one of them con Constitution um, bearing um, um, shotgun um, um, touting um, hillbillies. It says, but not of me and that cover with co a covering, but not of my spirit. Because that guy had to eat my spirit on him. That they may add sin unto sin. Let's go down to um, let's go down to verse twelve. It says, "Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression, and preserveth preservousness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking comethly sudden suddenly at." instant so your sin will come fast i mean it says like a breach ready to fall swelling out in a high wall so that that's going to burst out that's how that's how your uh your um that's how quick your your, your, your judgment gonna come you know let's go to jeremiah let's go to second verse we're gonna go down to uh we can start at 14 I started verse 14. It says, is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? And if this guy, uh, if he if he is a Jake, you know, why is he spoiled? We're willing to make to relocate it to somewhere that doesn't stand for justice as our courthouses do. But say their names Alabama has some opposition from about two dozen members and supporters of the sons of God. Let's read it again. Jeremiah 2 and 14. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Let's go down to 33. It says, Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? So the Lord said, Why why are you going, why are you trimming your ways to seek love? Jake always trying to look for these Edomites to love him. You know, you got Jake on, on YouTube, you know, some big YouTubers, always trying to uh, hold up a standard. Now, we as uh, the hopefully lack, of course, we have a standard. But you got these uh, Edomite, you got these Jakes that, you know, uh, they somewhat popular on YouTube. They trim us their ways because they... And then they get a lot of things from us because if you look at it, where else do, are they getting this moral compass from? The moral compass comes straight from the scriptures. All right. And we the only one is uh, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, particularly a great millstone. We the only one that pushed this word, you know. 
So you have to have a moral compass. But I hope this was edifying to the body, you know. Till again, Shalom.